Hi everyone, it's Rachel here. Today I'm gonna to show you my new favorite lashes and I'm so excited about these because not only do I think they look amazing, they are also extremely affordable because they are from Poundland. So these are Firm McCann's Calabasas Crush. She does have other um, different ones but these are quite full and they've got longer bits in there and shorter bits which at first I thought would be a bit too much, but I'm actually wearing them now. So these are Calabasas Crush. They're quite a full lash, but I do love a full lash. I think this side is a little bit thin there because I've had these on for about a week now. So on the packaging it does say, most false lashes have a lifespan of around four wears, whereas I've had mine on for just over a week that I'm wearing now. And they're only gone a bit thin there where I've pulled the glue off a little bit too heavy handedly and caught them. But I love a full lash. I'm not sure if you can see them. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I post about these as well. But I thought I'd do a video on how I apply them and just my general review on them. You do get glue in there, which I'm not sure if you can. It just literally says, Fern McCann, eyelash glue, warning, keep it out of reach of children, blah de blah de blah. But it's also, because I've tried Jess Wright's eyelashes, which is also from Poundland, they're exactly the same. They just say, Jess Wright's beauty eyelash glue and Fern McCann eyelash glue. And I have used this, so I'm, it is clear and it's got a little stick in there, but it's rubbish, I'm not gonna lie. So for a pound, the eyelashes are great, but the glue is not so much, but you can't have it all. I actually swear by, this lid's a bit wonky, the Eyelure Lash Fix Glue, which this is the bigger bottle and you just literally put it over like that. But yeah, I will always use eyelid glue on all my eyelashes. What I will do is I'm gonna take these lashes off and apply them again. Please ignore my red eye. I'm not getting enough sleep at the moment. Three kids. Yeah, this is me with no eyelashes on. For those of you that don't know, I've got alopecia, so I don't actually have any of my own eyelashes. So I do like a voluminous eyelash to make up for that. I used to play it natural, but now, no. Nah. I like them thick and th full. So that's what they look like. Look at them, they look amazing. They've got like the thicker bits are longer and then they're slightly thinner in there and shorter. They do, like I said, these ones are brand new. The ones that I've got here, I've actually worn for around about a week and I'm just gonna stick with these ones for now. Yeah, all I do is after each wear, I just pull the glue off and then I've got a little pot that I put them in just so that the dust doesn't settle on them overnight. And then in the morning, give them a little blow, they're ready to go. And I will apply glue along the lash line, the lash band there and along my lash line as well, because where I haven't got any eyelashes, I find by using two layers, it they will hold all day, so I won't have to reapply. I won't have any falling off eyelashes either. So that's just got... So if you can see, I've just put some glue along the edge. Put that down. And then I'm going to put a line of glue along where it's going to go. I do use liquid eyeliner. I have a line there. So if you do do the same, it does leave a little bit of room for error because you haven't got them exactly straight because you've got black to go on. Here we go, so just a line of glue. I do usually do both at the same time. 
so I'll put some more glue on this one. They're quite a nice length as well. I know I've never had to cut any of my eyelashes actually. I do have quite a wide eye. I've still got, I've got both lashes down there. Like I said, I have used the glue that comes with it, but it, my lashes ended up just falling off after a short while. It doesn't have to be neat, just pop it on in the general direction of where it's gonna go. And then I will wait until that has gone clear pretty much. Because if you put it on too soon, it will just be too slippery and you'll never get it in the right position because it will just be slipping all over the place. So as you can see, the glue looks like it's disappearing. Obviously where the thicker bits are, it's still showing. This is when I get impatient, so let's give it a go. I don't use any tweezers or anything like that. I just literally use my fingers and then I just pop it at the front and there. There you go, so that one. But yeah, so this one, I think I put slightly more glue on that side. But by having a little bit there, it still gives a little bit of room to move it. So let's put this one. So again, I'm just going to, the in, inner eye goes down first on the inner eye. That's that. Like so. Easy. I think the trick is to apply them when the glue is at the right consistency because like I say, too early and it'll be slippy. Too late, it will stick too much and you won't have much room to move. But I was hopeless about four years ago. I couldn't apply eyelashes. So practice does make perfect. But that is Fern McCann Calabasas Crush Pound Eyelashes. Currently my favourite. Definitely would not know that they was a pound. I used to not go for ones that had a thick lash band. I don't know if you can see, for me they got quite a thick lash band. Because usually it can mean they're quite a heavy lash. But they're not at all. Like at the moment, I can't even tell they're on there. Definitely worth getting. This is my last pair actually, because I keep going back to Poundland, but they've got all the other ones, but none of these. So I have to try a different one. That is how I apply my eyelashes. And these are currently my favourite eyelashes. And for a pound, you can't go wrong. So if you see them in your pound land, grab some. They do all sorts. I've tried some of the others, but these are by far my favourite. They're just the right... Well, they're quite a dramatic lash. But I like that. Okay, so I hope this video has been helpful. Any questions, pop them down below. And come find me on Instagram to see my other bits that I get up to but hopefully from now on you'll see a few more makeup videos coming from me. I'm going to do a full face alopecia makeup video how I do this. Check out my Instagram to see my befores. Thanks for watching, see you soon, bye!